pure genius or is this selfish? Because some people are taking 46 days off and only using 18 PTO days. But don't worry, since you follow me, Sam, Mr. Everything Money, I'll explain exactly how you can do this too. Stay with me, here it goes. Starting in January, if you take the 12th and 13th off, that'll be five days. Next is April, if you take four days before Good Friday, you'll have 10 days off. For July, you just take the Monday before the 4th of July and you'll have four days off. And then for November, you'll take off five consecutive days after Veterans Day. And then take off three days before Thanksgiving, you'll have 17 consecutive days. Lastly, if you take off four days between Christmas and New Year's, you'll have 10 consecutive days off. In total, 46 days off with only using 18 days of PTO.